All right, hello and welcome. So today I'm going to show you how to use Unity to render out an animation. So being able to bring in your 3D scene that you made in another program or that you made in Unity and rendering that out in a number of different ways. I'm going to make this in a quick, short tutorial series so that it'll be in three parts. First, how to install it and how to render it as an mp4 file to put on YouTube. But first, um, I want to just quickly go over some prerequisites you should have before um, doing this. You ha should have your Unity scene finished already, um, ready to render out, basically, and tested it out by hitting the play button in Unity to test out the timing of your final animation and playback and what the camera is going to see. And uh, also, that you already have a Unity Asset Store account set up, so you're ready to download the Unity Recorder asset in, as we do it, uh, and just to be generally, generally familiar with Unity. All right, so let's just get started. So here we are in Unity, and I've already got my scene set up with a just really kind of terrible quick animation for demonstration purposes of this tutorial only. Um, just see a slight camera animation going on and just some stuff moving around in the scene. See that there? So we're ready to render this out. So uh, let's go ahead and go to the Unity Asset Store in Window um, Asset Store right here, Control-9. I'm using the F1 version of Unity 2018.3, so this may not be the same exact process if you're in a different version of Unity, but this is kind of the latest version that's not alpha right now, so it's the one I'm choosing to use. So we're looking for the Unity Recorder. What happened? Unity Recorder. Click that. Okay, so just go ahead and import that. And you may have to download first because I've already downloaded it. So you have two steps there, download then import. Just import the whole thing right into your project. And as soon as that's done importing and compiling scripts, you're gonna have a folder in your project pane called Unity Recorder. There we go. Okay, so now we can actually <clears throat> pop open our separate Unity Recorder window, which is under General, believe it or not, Window General Recorder, Recorder Window. Okay, so pop this guy open, drag that tab over, and I'm just going to dock it in here so we can see all of that in place of our scene view. All right, so I've already got a uh, existing recorder in here, so I'm just clear that out. All right, so we've now got it installed, ready to go, and we've got a particular camera animation we want to render, which in my case is just a separate camera here called Render Cam. So that's what I'm going to actually render, and you can see in the timeline down here, that's what will be rendered whenever we do this. So we're going to add a new recorder, and this is going to be a movie, because we're going to upload this to uh, YouTube, right, in HD resolution. So another important thing about that is make sure that uh, in your game view you're set to 16 by 9, and that you have the framing of your camera and everything correct uh, based on the resolution you're going to be outputting. So we got that set to MP4. That's what we want in our case. Um, now here is frame rate, and this needs to be 30 in most cases, or at least in my case here. And that is kind of important, <clears throat> frame rate especially, if you're exporting a movie or a GIF file is gonna be different. So MP4 and file name, oh, sure, movie, that's fine. Now, there's a bunch of different things you can add to your um, 
name, which is really useful, like the frame number and all that stuff. So I'll go ahead and add a few of these tags on it. Let's do the frame number and the extension. So that'd be the name of it. And we could put uh, the take. And resolution. So it'll append all of that into the name of the files. That may be too much. I'll just take out resolution. We'll need that. Okay, so take number one and we're going to capture the game view like we showed there. We've already hit play to test it out and make sure it's how we want it to be. Output resolution, we do not want to match the output size. We want it to Use full HD, 1080p. Now, you, of course, you could export this out in higher resolutions very easily. Um, YouTube even supports higher resolutions if you want to do that. Um, but just as a standard, 1080p is what we want to do. All right. Uh, I don't have any audio in my sequence, but if I did, I could put that in there. Um, quality high, of course. And that's it. So now we can hit start recording, and it's going to actually spit out an MP4 1080p version of the animation that we set up inside of Unity. All right. So thank you for watching this first part. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop the tutorial here. Oops. So the tutorial, tutorial here and uh, continue on with the next part. We'll learn how to make a GIF version of that.